We're going to move into the next steps sort of part of this evening. We're going to start that by addressing what the process looks like. And to do that, I'm going to ask uh, Scott Anderson and Angel Contreras to step forward and walk you through that. Thank you. Wow, what a bunch of Debbie Downers, man. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about how we uh, fix this. Uh, I'm Scott Anderson. I work for the uh, Rust-Oleum Corporation. I'm also the vice facilitator with uh, Next Rockford. And uh, my partner uh, in process is? Um, good evening. My name is Angel Contreras. I'm the Chief Human Resources Officer for the Rockford Public Schools. And I'm going to have to step forward here, so you may need to catch me if I go too far. So we've heard some gloom and doom stuff, and I've heard that just by our very nature, humans tend to resist change. We like the equilibrium. We like to kind of to maintain the status quo. I would argue that that's not true. What we tend to resist are the unknowns. Who, what, when, where, how, and I think we have talked a little bit about why, and that's really the first step of the six that we're going to cover. Why do we need to change? I think we've already discussed that enough, so I'm not going to refresh that. But I think there's a reason, there's a lot of reasons just in this room that we need to change. So starting tonight with this summit, as we start to get feedback and input from the community, which you're going to hear a lot of, so you might as well get used to it, community engagement, feedback, input. There will be multiple channels. We've already got our next uh, workshop set up for December 14th which is a Saturday, and we'll be doing that at um, Ellis uh, Elementary School. And more details will be coming out with that. Thanks, Angel. All right, so we've already agreed that where we are is not where we want to be. I think probably everybody in here says this is not where we want to be. We're not happy about it. But let's talk about where do we want to go and how are we going to get there, okay? So where do we want to go? Well, we don't know yet, and we need your help in figuring out where that is. And you're going to start that process tonight. As was mentioned earlier, each of you has the opportunity to jot down some notes, ideas, feedback about what you heard about the brutal facts, about what you heard about Case for Change, about what you're going to hear about the process, about what you're going to hear about the shared values, and share that with the teams. You're going to post those in the lobby. You're going to be able to talk to the folks there and have one-on-one -on -one conversations and group conversations. And starting in the next couple months, we're going to have community-wide engagement of what is our vision. And that means having everybody have the opportunity to connect with this organization through a variety of different methods and having the community tell the community where it is that we want to go. What is a top 25 community? What does that mean to us, and how do we get there? Once we've defined what our vision is, we're going to move on to step three, where we start to define what's the strategy, or basically we're answering how are we going to do this now. By this step, we'll have a lot of teams together. A lot of community members are actively engaged in the teams, which will lead right into the fourth step, perhaps. Uh, the actual implementation plan. So in this phase, we're going to be able to answer who's going to do what. Of the members that are on the, the different teams, what are, my, what are my responsibilities and what is the overall responsibility of the team that I just joined uh, to relate back to our vision that we've created. These two steps, three and four, are going to take a little bit of time. As with any good thing, a lot of the planning up front is going to help the process so that there's less corrections, but th this is the process that we're going to start to use so that we can change the course of our future. All right, and then what? We figured out where we wanted to go, right? We talked about how are we going to get there? What are the specific steps? What are the specific actions? What needs to be done to move us from where we're not happy to where we're proud of where we are? or moving that direction. The first is to implement initiatives and measure, right? So do the work. That's going to take all of us and more than are in this room. It takes the entire committee and every or community, excuse me. Everybody's going to have the chance to do that. That means doing things, serving on teams, getting actions done that really do move us and transform this community. And that takes all of us. 
It also means that we have to stop and check. A critical part of this transformation process is stopping and checking every now and then and making sure that the road that we're on is really going to get us where we want to go to. We have to stop and see, is this working? Are some of the things that we want to improve and we're measuring those things, are they getting better? If they're not getting better, it means that either we're not doing the work we said we would do, which we've got to hold ourselves accountable for, or we're not doing the right work and we have to stop and check, maybe adjust our plan a little bit. This takes key community engagement in both of those steps. It's the community teams involved in understanding what are our metrics that we're going to measure, being honest with ourselves about whether we're achieving them or not, and being honest with ourselves about whether we need to change the plan and transform the plan to ultimately get to where we want to go. That's going to be a long journey, right? It's after the planning step. Things probably really start to get rolling in 2015. There will be great gains in the beginning, but it'll take a long time to do all of the work. And honestly, it's probably a process that never ends. We'll be a community that wants to always improve. We'll be a learning, growing, improving, top tier community. Thank you.